Malu Trevejo is in some serious trouble, you guys. And I'm not talking about trouble where she's getting called out for being a for saying the n-word, though there's numerous videos of her where she's not only lip-syncing, but saying the n-word. I'm not talking about trouble where she's getting called out for blackfishing, since that's been a huge part of her career as well, nor am I talking about trouble where she's getting called out for lying, like that one time when the internet thought she was lying about getting signed by Travis Scott's record label. Yeah. This time, we're talking about Malu Trevejo getting arrested. Yes, homegirl has gotten in trouble with the law this time, and her mugshot is being spread all over social media. A lot of people are just shocked to find out that Malu is arrested. She has gotten out of jail as she did have a bail, and she wasn't in jail for a long time, but there's already articles talking about this, and people are just shook that she got arrested in the first place, you guys. So let's Let's talk about it. So the news breaking Malu getting arrested first was published by Radar Online and they said singer Malu Trevejo arrested over traffic violation released within hours. So this article by Radar Online talked about why Malu got arrested and supposedly it was because of a non-moving traffic violation. Now right off the bat I do have to mention that something that was very apparent to a lot of people in this mugshot was the fact that the mugshot lay labeled Malu as white, which we all know is not true. Maybe this was a mistake on the police department's end. And a lot of people in the comments were saying things like this when they found out that the mugshot was incorrectly labeled white. I feel like the main thing she'll bring up if she gets out is how they labeled her white. That seems to be the only thing that she cares about. Other people were just pointing out how she looks so different in her mugshot saying, geez, she looks so different compared to her Instagram post. The article reads, an attorney for Trevejo confirmed to Radar Online that the singer was booked into jail yesterday over a non-moving traffic violation. She immediately posted bail and was released within hours. It's not clear how much the bail was as they didn't state that in this article and a lot of people are actually going over to the Miami-Dade Police Department website to try and see if any of Malu's charges or her records are available publicly but there hasn't been that much information released just yet as this did happen around 24 hours ago. But the article continues and talks about a previous court hearing that Malu was supposed to attend and that supposedly she hadn't appeared. And if you guys remember, this may or may not be pertaining to the lawsuit that Malu was involved in where her ex-employees had a lot of allegations about her, which we'll get more into a bit later. We learned that Trevejo had failed to show up to a previous court hearing and a bench warrant had been issued. Sources say the singer was unaware of the court date and is relieved that the situation was quickly resolved. Now, you guys may be wondering how this situation would have been resolved, and it turns out that one of Malu's ex-employees actually dropped the charges that he had against her. But it wasn't just one employee that was speaking out publicly, at least, on Malu and the way she was treating her workers and just the way she was acting as a boss. This was a whole story that I actually covered a couple of months ago. This all happened back in January of this year and people are just shocked to find out that after what all these employees were saying about Malu that the charges were just suddenly dropped. People have just been wondering and been worried about whether this ex-employee was forced or and into dropping the lawsuit. No one really knows, but at the end of the day, the lawsuit was dropped for Malu. As RadarOnline.com first reported, last month, Trevejo scored a major victory in court after her ex-personal assistant voluntarily dropped a lawsuit over alleged harassment. The ex-employee LaCroix informed the court he was dismissing all claims against Malu. The article continues, he noted the dismissal was with prejudice, meaning he can not refile the claims later. Malu's powerhouse attorney, Jason, told Radar Online, we are happy with that result and will keep vigorously defending Malu and her name against the other plaintiffs. Wow. So interesting stuff. This clip has been going viral on TikTok, even though there was more that was being said about Malu. Very concerning things at that by Malu's ex-employees. This is just a short clip that someone made on TikTok and it went pretty viral and people were just saying that this seemed really Really hypocritical of Malu because she was saying this the world will be so much better 
if everybody would just be nice and positive. But in every fairy tale, there's always a villain. And then they posted this clip afterwards that kind of contradicted what she was saying. They posted the audio recordings of Malu and the way that she was talking to one of her ex-employees. Victoria, I don't take him now because I just came from a 40 minute drive doing something and I want to chill on my fucking So you're going to take him tomorrow because it is my, my priority and it's coming out of my pocket. So yeah, you're fucking game tomorrow. I've took my fucking dogs at 3, 4 a.m. every day. Every day I got a pack just like you and I got to do. So you taking him tomorrow. It is my priority. I've done this billions of times. Nobody has done it for me. So like I said, you take him tomorrow in the morning and then you wait there. Don't worry, we're not gonna leave to LA Wednesday if you don't have your bags. Don't worry, but you're gonna wait there because Elizabeth's slow. This wasn't the first time Malu was getting called out about this. When this news did come out about all Malu's ex-employees speaking out about her, no one was really shocked because Malu's behavior on social media has just been very apparent to a lot of people on social media. I mean, over these last few years, she's been getting called out for saying the N-word publicly in numerous live streams and TikToks and just never apologizing about it, nor really stopping. And a lot of people just aren't fond of her attitude and her behavior on social media, especially as an influencer. And when Malu made this clip where she was crying about the lawsuit at the time, about the side effects that this would have on her mental health, and just crying on Instagram Live, people just weren't here for it, you guys. You just know it is scary. And I'm gonna have to go to therapy for it. All of that. It's really scary. And I'm not gonna say what it was, but I'm glad I'm not dead, okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, once I recover from it, I'll probably tell y'all what happened. But right now, I don't have, like... I don't have it to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just be aware. Just be aware. Just be aware. Just be aware. And all these lies that they're going to start making up, none of them are going to be true. Nobody knows what happened. Only a certain people know what happened. So... Anyways guys, this has been what's been going on with Malu Trevejo. I definitely didn't expect this, but I also didn't expect to find out that the lawsuit against her was going to be dropped. But I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much, and as always, bye!